So within the Fish Expert Network and the, the Circumpolar Biodiversity Monitoring Program Marine Group, we've been looking at trends in, uh, in the biodiversity of, of Arctic marine fishes. So we've recently done an, an analysis of three species, so Greenland halibut, polar cod, and capelin, to see how those species are changing. Well, Greenland halibut is harvested commercially in, in different areas, and we've seen you know, very little change in, in Greenland halibut. There's uh, you know, stock, st um, stock biomass has changed, but the distribution hasn't really been shifting that much. The, for polar cod, uh, we've seen declines in some populations, and uh, although so in the, the Barents Sea is a recent example from a, uh, the, uh, there's a survey by Norway and Russia that uh, monitors the stock there, and they'd been seeing a, a decline over the last decade for certainly. And then this past year, they conducted a, another survey and they saw this uh, remarkable uptick in the, the biomass estimate they generated from the survey, uh, primarily from a, a recruitment of, of age one fish to the survey. So there's this, uh, this general decline and then it looked like there was a large uh, reproductive event that's then led to an increase in biomass. So it's you know, certainly variability, but overall this general decline. And then, Capelin, as the third example, is um, it's present in the Arctic and in various locations, and in but some areas it has been absent. And we've been seeing this general um, northward movement of Capelin as water temperatures increase, and so the consequences that that may have for uh, for other fish that are uh, that feed on smaller fish, you know, the change in diet that they've got this new prey species that's available, and marine mammals and, and birds as well. So that's you know they may have a new food source, but with different nutritional quality compared to what they've been eating before.